All right, guys. Good afternoon. Um, last time we had a discussion about the background of what we are going to study in this course, as well as how the processor chips are fabricated on a material called semiconductor, specifically a silicon. Now we need to proceed ahead, but before we move further with the processor architecture, we need to know that the entire system is digital. Now, what do we mean when we as, when we say that um, a system is digital? So, what are digital system? Anyone? Yep. Okay. So, yeah, the system which has an ability to represent and manipulate discrete elements of information. So, for example, we have a physical quantity like um, voltages. We can represent that into discrete information. So, as an example here. Uh, assume that these are the curves or waveforms of um, analog system. But before I move on, uh, let me tell you that everything in real life is analog, nothing is digital. We have to convert that into digital. So assuming that uh, this um, yellow curve is uh, representing a voltage level. Say if it is a beyond a certain value, it is considered as logic 1, and if it is below a certain value, it is considered as logic 0. Same is the case with the other signals. It could be anything. It could be concentration levels. It could molecular concentrations or any voltage. All right? So digital electronic is based on two voltage levels, which we commonly refer to as binary logic. Now, how is a digital system developed? So in order to proceed ahead with this, um, let's try doing an activity, which is what we exactly did in another course, which is related to introduction to computing, which is based on Python programming. If you recall that I asked you to develop a digital system, which turns on the cooler after a delay of one second, when a button is pressed by a user, or once the system reaches above a predefined temperature. Okay, now you may consider it as a thermostat in your house. Of course, in order to turn on the cooling, you need to set a temperature. And before setting a temperature, you need to turn the system on. <clears throat> okay, so once you set the temperature, let's say 65 degree Fahrenheit, if the temperature rises above 65, the cooling automatically turns on. Or in other words, you can, or in other way, you can actually turn the cooling on by yourself without letting the system sense the temperature and then turn it on. So in this digital system, we are developing a similar kind of thing. The specifications, you must have what, whatever system you're developing, you must have the specification about the system. So it has an inputs, the power button, manual, cooler control, temperature sensor, and temperature set control, where you can set the temperature. So it should look like this. It has a power button. It has a manual set control. You can forcefully turn on the cooling by using this toggle switch. And you have a temperature sensor, which sends the environmental temperature. And then you have a temperature set control, where you can specify what temperature you want to set. And then we have output, which is a power indicator which indicates whether the system is turned on or not. And then we have a cooling fan, which is the main output of our system. Another requirement is that the system should work only when the system is powered on. So to demonstrate how the system should work is that you can click on the power on to turn, which indicates that, which is indicated by the power indicator, indicating that the power is, uh, system is boot up. And then you can manually turn on the cooler by using this toggle switch when you turn it on after a delay of one second it starts um, running the fan when you turn it off the cooler is turned off and then we have a temperature sensor when the temperature rises above a certain temperature which is 50 degrees celsius in this example when it rises above a certain value it turns on the cooler after a delay of one second so this is what you're supposed to be doing. If you recall in the course of introduction to computing where we were learning Python programming, I asked you to develop a digital system exactly similar to this one. And I asked you to write the set of instructions what a system should do in your own words. 
However, in this uh, uh, in this activity, what I ask you to do, based on your prior knowledge about the combinational logic components, try connecting these components with the these inputs with the output while having the logical components in between. So try a circuit schematic, drawing a circuit schematic with the logical components like AND, OR, NOT, COMPARATOR, whatever. And then, um, yeah, do this activity. It, 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 it will be a great brain or storm activity how a system, digital system, should be developed. So I'm giving a pause here. And yeah, um, I'll continue after a while.